Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack and today I'm really excited. Do you see where we are? We're at the Williams Ranch in Huntsville, Texas and boy do they have a lot of activities for us to check out. Specifically today we're going to be meeting a whole lot of animals. I don't want to give away too much but there's going to be some normal uh, farm animals and then we're going to meet some really exotic animals. You guys want to go check them out? Come on, let's go! All right, cowboys and cowgirls, are you ready to meet some of these really cool animals they have here at the Williams Ranch? I know I am, but you know what? We ought to meet Mr. Williams first. This is Ronnie Williams. Mr. Ronnie, how are you? My pleasure. All right. Well, wow. What kind of critters are we looking at here? Well, we're looking at a what's called a Z-donk. A Z-donk? What a is Z -donk a Z-donk? His mother was a zebra and his daddy was a donkey. Oh, wow. He's a hybrid. Look and at that, guys. He's got stripes on his legs. Like, just like a zebra does. One that of the is... things about a hybrid that's kind of peculiar is a hybrid can never breed. He cannot reproduce. Oh, okay. So the only way you can get another hybrid is you have to do the same cross over and over and over again. Wow, so he's truly one of a yeah, kind. one of a kind, exactly right. I love those stripes exactly on his legs. Right. That's, that's so cool. This is his daddy. Just happens to be his daddy with him in the pen. Wait a second, that's his daddy? That's his daddy. He's smaller. He's smaller than, than the mother was, that's exactly <laughs> right. That is so cool. That's exactly right. We call him Zorro. Zorro, wow. He is really, really neat. They have a better disposition than a zebra. A zebra is not known for its disposition. So zebras can be a little bit cranky. To say the very least. But this guy, he you, seems you see, pretty you friendly. see how gentle a donkey is? Yeah. Okay. So we're hoping to get him the same way, just over a period of time. He seems like he's yes. just looking at my hands because yes. he wants over me to have some of time, food. Exactly. <laughs> uh, over a period of time, we're just handling him. We're going to try to get him the same way. How old is he? He's only two. So is he full grown already? He's full grown. Wow, that's yeah. really cool. Yeah, he is full grown. Full grown zonkey. Yep. <laughs> One day you've never seen a zonkey, next day you're right here trying to feed one. That's so cool. <laughs> what kind of cowboy doesn't love cows? I saw this really cool, unique cow over here. He's not very big. You guys want to meet him? Who's this guy? This guy's Snowflake. Snowflake, wow. Snowflake is about nine months old, but believe it or not, that's about as big as she'll ever get the rest of her life. Maybe oh. 42, 43 inches tall. Oh my goodness, she's not very big at all. She's a Galloway. And a Galloway is a, a mini cow. Where do they originate from? You know, I don't know. I don't know where they originate from. We'll have to look that up yeah, and find out. Up. Wow, only nine months old and fully yeah. grown. Yep. And she's not that big at all. No, that's just big. Yeah, a regular nine-month-old cow would be chest high. Yeah. You know? She's really pretty and soft. In a too. great disposition. Yeah, she doesn't mind me petting her this at all. This is one of the animals that we'll have in the petting zoo on the weekends all the time. For wow. Kids to come up and pet and handle. You guys got to get a close up look at her hair. It's really, really cool. Yeah, it's very soft, curly. That's one of the characteristics of the Galloway. Wow, Galloway cow. That is really, really cool. Snowflake. You could have her in your backyard you and nobody would her. even notice. People have, have, have them in the house. <laughs> they do. I don't think Cowboy Jack's wife would like it too much <laughs> if I had her inside. But. <laughs> wow. Does she eat a lot? You have to, we have to ration her food. And what I mean by ration is you can't allow her to eat all she wants to eat. Well, that's kind of like me too. Well, so uh, <laughs> because of the fact that she's a uh, mini, or a pygmy, if she's on grass, it would be different, but pure feed, we have to limit. So we feed her twice a day, but she's on a ration and she knows, but you can see she's not hurting for food. No, she looks like <laughs> she just had a good dinner. All right. Well, thanks for letting us meet you, Snowflake. It was really cool getting to know you. Oh, uh, Wait a second, I, I see you cutting up some apples there. What are we, apples. What we're are getting, we cutting up apples we're for? We're getting ready to give them a treat. Guys, Mr. Williams has some really cool animals over here. You see what those are? Those are two ostriches. They're really ginormous birds. They're about nine feet tall from their head to the ground. Oh, wow. Weigh about 150 pounds. And they're only about a year and a half old. <laughs> I brought them home in a little cardboard box about, they were that tall. Really? About a year and a half ago. Wow, guys, look how big their feet are. I mean, they have really big toes. So 
big uh, club. An ostrich is the only two-toed bird in the world. That's what I was noticing. Yep. Most ever, other birds you see yep. are three-toed. Yep. yep, that's the only two-toed bird in the world. <laughs> that's so they can run. They can run about 35 miles an hour. 35 miles an hour? Yep. That's faster than I drive sometimes. Yep. yep. Wow. They sure do like apples. What other yep. kind of stuff do they like to eat? Ostrich will eat any kind of vegetation. Okay. They'll eat snails, lizards, sn small snakes. <laughs> and as you watch, they swallow everything whole. They don't chew. They have no teeth, but they don't chew anything. Oh, wow. It goes straight to their gizzard, and they process all the food in their gizzard. Well, they have to have a really strong neck to swallow that whole long length down yeah, there. Yeah, you can watch it. You can watch it go down the throat. <laughs> Another thing kind of interesting about them is you can't tell if they're male or female until they're three years old. That's when they mature. Oh, really? So, so you don't know what you've got you here because they're not old enough. We yet. call them the Dixie Chicks, <laughs> just because we don't know. I like that. Here's a piece of apple you, they dropped on the ground. Should I be scared you to give just, it to them? You can give it to them. Just hold it up there and take All it right. your hand. Yeah. <laughs> They're kind of intimidating with those really they long are. necks. They are. I've heard that these ostriches can actually kick really hard. Very much so. You so, don't, don't want to, and I raise these and I've been around them, but I still watch them. You don't want to ever have that front foot come up and strike you. Oh, okay. So that's how deal. they do it. They don't kick you from no, the back like no, a cow. That, as a matter of fact, they can't even walk backwards. They can't walk backwards. Not so at all. Do they ever get stuck in a corner? They spin. <laughs> when they get excited, they go out there and throw their wings out and they do a round dance. Okay. But they have to turn a circle. They cannot go backwards. Wow. I guess that's probably just because of the way their yeah. feet and their way knees are way made. Been, way, way but made. guys, look at that. I mean, this is crazy. So Cowboy Jack is about six feet tall. Like he said, these birds are nine feet tall. Yeah, they stand look up. how long their legs are. I mean, if you think they got long necks, look at their legs. <laughs> They have really big toenails. I wouldn't want to have to bargain with one of those. You don't want that, you don't want that messing with you. Wow, look at this ostrich. He's opening up his wings really big and he's showing us his mouth. I'm sorry, buddy, I don't have any more apples, but thanks for showing us your wings. That's really cool. All right, guys, well, you know what else they have here on the Williams Ranch? Goats. I love goats. We've seen goats a lot, but I never get sick of talking to them because they're really friendly, really cool animals. Come on, let's go check them out. Wow, it looks like you have a couple of different kinds of we goats We have here. a lot of different kinds of goats. We have a, it's, this is a boar goat. This is a mountain goat. These are pygmy goats. Wow. Get down, get down, get down. <laughs> They're really excited These for that are all feed hungry bucket. Goats. <laughs> this is every day. Quit, 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 quit. Wow, this guy's got really big horns on him, but not as big as that guy. <laughs> Come over here. Come here. Come over here. So this guy got out about three months ago. Uh-oh. We named him Rambo, and he was all over Walker County up here, <laughs> and I finally caught him about seven miles from the house. Seven miles from the house? Yeah. Boy, he's a, he really is Rambo. Yeah. He was going all he through the woods. all through the woods. The pygmies are the same things you saw on the outside. They're, they're the littler goats. Nigerian, that's a Nigerian there. It's a little different than a pygmy. We named him Hercules. Hercules? <laughs> it's because he's so strong and yeah. likes to headbutt? Uh -huh. Quit. <laughs> Look at that, they're jumping up on Quit. Mr. Williams just like a dog. Quit. Quit. <laughs> Quit. So the guys would come in the morning with me like this and we'd feed all of them. Yeah. Along with the walking ducks. There's six walking ducks. They call walking ducks so they don't fly. All they do is walk. Huh. Now is that a specific breed? Yeah. It's a, the duck doesn't fly. I never knew there was uh -huh. ducks that don't fly. They That's don't really fly cool. They make no attempt to fly. And the goats and the ducks get along just they fine. They get along just fine. <laughs> this guy's really, really soft. Now, do you ever have babies here on the ranch? Oh, yes. Here she is. Right here. Oh, wow. So this yeah, one's pregnant. She's big time pregnant. Oh, she is big time pregnant. <laughs> big time pregnant. So do goats usually have just one baby or do they have multiple? Two, three, sometimes four. 
Wow. A lot of times, uh, majority of the times I'll have two. Hey, mama. Yeah, majority. That's really exciting. So how long until she has babies? She's, I'm gonna say she's probably two weeks, two weeks away. Two weeks away from yep. having babies. Wow, that's yep. really close. Yeah. Then you're gonna have your hands full with all these kids. Oh yeah. That'll Isn't be... that funny? Baby goats yep. are called kids. Kid goats, that's exactly <laughs> right. Wow, well, we're just surrounded by goats here. I really like this guy's horns, that's so cool. Nah, he doesn't like me because I don't have any food. <laughs> Wow, guys, I'm in this pen with a whole lot of different critters. Here's this donk. I see two donkeys, a turkey. Is that a cooney cooney pig? Wow. And a regular old sheep. That turkey is making some funny noises. He seems hungry. Let's go check him out. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so we call him Gripey Tom. Gripey Tom. Yeah, he gets gripey sometimes, but he's all right. <laughs> This is a Kuna Kuna pig. Yeah, we've seen him. He, yeah. There's pigs like him. That's like the pig from the movie Moana. Yep, he's a Kuna Kuna. He's very gentle, good disposition. Wow, what a cool Long thing. hair. Yep, and see the Kuna Kuna pig has this long, really mm -hmm. pretty hair, but it's not soft like those goats. It's no, really kind of wiry. Kind of bristly. This is a sheep. <laughs> Call, his name is Dozer. Dozer? <laughs> he usually just runs right over you like a bulldozer. He won't hurt you, but he just doesn't know his own. Wow, so this sheep has really soft wool. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to shear his wool in April yeah. so that he can make the heat of the summertime. And that so I'll hire some people to come out and we'll take him and we'll actually shear him right down to his this be a skin. Wow, that's really cool. And he's actually black underneath all this wool, right? He's darker color. Not darker totally color. black, but yes, he's very much a darker color. Wow. Well, he looks a lot bigger than he actually is yeah. because that coat of is so the, fluffy. Of all the, of all the fluff, yeah. <laughs> Boy, that turkey's sure gobbling all the oh, food yeah. up. Oh, yeah. He said, I made it through the season. I'm yeah. happy. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, buddy. Boy, these donkeys are just so gentle and fun yeah, to be around. Very, very gentle. They get handled a lot. <laughs> Don't run over anybody, does it? <laughs> Here's some chickens over here. I see eggs from here. Hey guys, we're gonna go look at these chickens, and like you said, there's even some eggs in there. That's really cool. I see two eggs this morning. Well, wait a second. Those eggs don't look like the white ones we get in no, the supermarket. They're not gonna be because of the, the breed of chicken. But this breed of chicken doesn't make white eggs like we see at the grocery store. Correct. But I bet they taste even better than they the ones at the great. grocery store. They do. They taste great. That's. I've always found that farm fresh eggs have a different taste and texture to them. The yolks very, are a lot more much, yellow. Very much and, so. Very much so. Yeah, they're really, really tasty. And then you've got even a few more turkeys over these there. Are, these are Texas red turkeys, and they're both female turkeys. Huh. I've these, never heard of Texas these, these red are Texas turkeys. Reds. So are they native Texas species, I guess? They are kind of down around the, the uh, Rio Grande and stuff. Okay. Uh -huh. Those are both females. They're young birds. Boy, I just love that noise they make. Yep. You know, there's some folks out there that can make that noise yep, with their that mouth. Same noise. I can't do it. I've tried for a long time. <laughs> Wait a second, guys. What do I see over here? That looks like a buffalo. He has an original name too, Bill. This is Bill the Buffalo, <laughs> Buffalo Bill. Here. The cow is a zebu. She's a miniature zebu. 
A zebu is not a domestic cow. They're from Asia. Wow. So I was gonna say, is, the, the coat looks really different. Yeah, it's like shorter and head, shinier. Her head, her head is shaped different. Her body over there, you see them pulling their rice plows and pulling their two wheel carts. They use them like oxen. Okay, so they're really, really strong then. Yeah, the big one, the big ones especially. And tell me about this buffalo. <laughs> the buffalo, he's about three years old. I brought him home when he was just a baby calf. I raised him here on the place. And uh, he'll grow another, he'll grow till he's five. So I almost say he'll almost double in size. But they live to be 35. 35 years old, yeah. wow, that's an old buffalo. <laughs> if the little calf, can you see the little calf back yeah. here? So that's a hybrid, that's a beefalo. Bill was the daddy and the cow was the mother. Oh, really? Yeah, they've never been with anything else all their life. I put them in this pen three years ago and they've been in this pen together ever since. Come here, girl. What do you want? Yeah. Here. You don't want it for me? Here. <laughs> here. So this buffalo is the same breed of buffalo that the cowboys and Indians That's used to correct. talk about. He is uh, referred to as a bison. Wow, it doesn't get much more American than that. No, it doesn't. He's one of our favorites. Kuna. Yeah, <laughs> Looks like the pigs snuck over for yeah. one more snack. We're always, always, always looking for a snack. But that is so cool, guys. You think about back in the olden days, before barbed wire is invented, these bison used to roam the plains and all over the U.S. Well, they fed the country in that time. Yep. More so the native Indians. They used every piece of the buffalo. Horn, meat, skin, bone. They used every bit of the buffalo. Yep. Nothing was wasted. Such a majestic animal. A real big part of American history. <laughs> yes, sir. His head is just so large. Yeah, wow, head, look at that. All of them's heads are way bigger than the kind of rest of their body. I tell you, what's unusual about a buffalo, a buffalo can run 35 miles an hour. Really? He, looks he doesn't big look like he, he has he that big, big of legs. He looks awkward and he looks gang, but he can really run. Wow. He really run. Well, I wouldn't want him chasing him. Yeah, he can really run. Hey guys, y'all want to meet a camel real quick? We got Clyde the camel right here. <laughs> hey Clyde, how's it going, buddy? Clyde is about 10 years old. 10 years old, wow, he's got a really soft head. Yeah, we've had him a while. This is like a treat for him. Yeah. So he comes up for his treats. <laughs> so he lives under here, he likes to stay out of the sun? He, he stays under here, but he also has a pasture back behind with a lake that he can go to all through the day. Okay. Does Clyde ever go swimming? No, nope, never goes swimming. <laughs> and these are normally desert animals, right? That's exactly right. They're, they're not even really adapted to this part of the country. We have to watch them. They're very susceptible to parasites. Mm. Parasites are worms. Where they come from, there are no worms because there is no grass. Oh, okay. So they're on the desert. They, they eat prickly pear and they eat cactus and they eat tree tops. Well, over, that's here, over here, there's a lot of parasites. So we have to <clears throat> constantly worm them about every 30 days to make them stay healthy. Oh, wow. Well, I know the U.S. Army back a long time ago in the 1930s brought in camels to use to get around out in West Texas yeah. where it's they really rough terrain. We were going to use them in West Texas, now we're going to use them in World War I. Yeah. But they couldn't find enough guys that knew how to handle camels. <laughs> all the guys in World War I were all farm boys. They knew how to handle mules and donkeys. But not, but not how but to not a, camel. a camel. So they, even though the camel could outwork the other animals, they had to shell the camels and go ahead and go back to the mules. <laughs> yeah, just because of the of the people to handle them. Well, do you, do you guys know what a camel's favorite day of the week is? <laughs> Wednesday. Hump, Hump day. day. <laughs> <laughs> How many humps does Clyde have? He only has one. Wow, guys, come take a look at his hump. It's really cool. And so they actually use that to store water because like Mr. Williams said, they live in normally in deserts really dry, dry climates like the Sahara. <laughs> well, Clyde, it sure was fun meeting you, buddy. Wow, he's got really cool eyelashes, too. He does. Too. Every girl that comes out here is the first thing they talk about. 
his eyelashes <laughs> every every time <laughs> every morning well actually when they're in the wild and in their in their normal habitat they use those eyelashes to protect them from the sand and exactly sand drifts right. in the desert and the and the sand and, and the flies in the desert that's exactly yeah. right he actually has a third eyelid he can come down over his eye with to keep the sand out <laughs> All right, buddy. Well, <laughs> thanks for letting us hang out and can't wait to see you on Wednesday, hump day. <laughs> Guys, look at this guy. This is a llama. They're really cool. Now, I think llamas are native to India they and are. Nepal, right? They are. We have to shear them just like we do the sheep in April because they can't survive the hot summers in Texas without being sheared. Huh, it looks like you're giving him some kind of different food. Alfalfa. Alfalfa. It's a, it's a ground up alfalfa. Okay. It's a type of grass, but it's a it's a legume and it's a real high in protein. Real high in protein. Folks like going to climb Mount Everest and really cool things like that will use alpacas use as them, pack animals. Use them for pack animals. Exactly yeah. Right. Llamas and alpacas for pack animals. Wow. He's got a face. His face almost looks like a kangaroo, but then you look at the rest of his body yeah. and he's got this really yeah. long flowy hair. Yep. <laughs> hey guys, does he look familiar to y'all at all? I think I've read a book with Cowboy Caden about llamas. Llama llama bedtime drama, llama llama for your mama. Yeah, that's this guy. <laughs> Shelly is a cicada turtle. They're out of Africa. She's about nine years old. Wow, she's really big. Yeah, she'll get bigger. She'll grow till she's about 15. And when she's 15, she probably should weigh about 120 pounds and be about three feet in diameter. Oh my goodness, that is huge. Yeah. I mean, guys, right now she she's got it. maybe what? One yeah. foot, foot yeah. and a half, foot and a half diameter? About two foot long. So she's she she almost about 80 pounds. size. Weighs about 80 pounds now. 80 pounds, well, Cowboy Jack weighs a little bit more than 80 pounds. We have to keep them warm. They are a uh, Reptile, reptile, so they, they have to have warmth, so you'll see heat lamps in their in their rooms. Okay. And we keep we keep the heat lamps on. Well you especially haven't needed it much it here gets, lately. <laughs> especially if it gets below and you're true, but especially if it gets below uh, fifty degrees. Wow, I feel like we're taking a trip to Australia with our friends down under. Do you guys see these animals over here? <laughs> Look at this guy coming to see us. He wants his lettuce. This is Bulldog. He's a male cicada. Wow, Bulldog is even bigger than the other yeah, one. Yeah, he's about a year older. <laughs> well, I can't help but laugh because we've got this wallaby jumping all oh, over the yeah. place over here. The wallaby is a little bit wild. <laughs> His name is Wally. Wally Once the again, Wallaby, the, that the is original so cool. names. This guy's name is Mick. Mick, the, I guess this is a kangaroo, this right? Is a kangaroo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is he friendly? Yeah, no, he, we, we're, we're about as close as he'll, I mean, he's friendly, but he just won't let us get any closer. See, he'll pick that apple up in just a minute and eat if we don't get any closer. <laughs> he looks like he's already real, real strong and ready yeah. to do something. So no. I don't want to bother him get, by no. getting too close. No, they're fine. <laughs> Holds it like a person when he eats an apple. <laughs> and so this is a male kangaroo. Yes, it is. Cowboys and cowgirls, kangaroos are a little bit different animals along with wallabies too. They're actually marsupials. And if you've ever seen a kangaroo before, the mama kangaroos will hold her joeys in this pouch right here. And that's why she's called a marsupial because she has this pouch which she carries her young in. But this is a male kangaroo. Boy, look at his tail. It's really thick and looks really, really strong. And he's just sitting there eating those apples. <laughs> He looks like he's a cool guy, doesn't he? He is a cool guy. They have this look about him, like they should be wearing sunglasses and hanging out of a convertible somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cowboys and cowgirls, here we are. One of my favorite things about Texas, Longhorns. This guy right here is actually a Watusi and Longhorn cross. That's right. But this guy right here is a full bred Longhorn. He's really cool. Hey, buddy. I don't have any food here. cubes Looking on me just here. There you go. There you go. <laughs> These are such huge animals. Wow. Here. 
That one's name is Reba. This one is Reba? And this is Texine. Texine, hey Here. Texine. <laughs> you gotta watch out for these long do. horns. They, they, they get up beside you. The one coming up here now, he's the daddy, he's the bull. His name is Curly. Curly, that yeah. sounds like a good he name gets, for a bull. He gets grippy, he'll run all these guys off. I raised him from a baby calf. <laughs> oh, go on, be quiet. Well, I'm sorry, girl, I don't have anything for go you. Go on, be quiet. Here. There, y'all eat. That's a Highlander cow and her calf. They, they have really long, thick hair, and they're from Scotland. <laughs> See how thick your hair is, how long it is? <laughs> yeah. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, we've had a great time here at the Williams Ranch meeting all those animals. We met ostriches. A Z donk? Is that a Z donk? That's what we call them. The donkey zebra. Uh, we met the Cooney Cooney pig, the camel, the llamas, the kangaroo, the wallaby. Woo! Man, that's a lot of animals. It's been a great time today. Mr. Williams, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. This was a great time. Well, it's time for me to hit the hot and dusty. All right. So I'm just going to get on my horse and take off. Go ahead. That's a good one to get on. <laughs> just like riding a bike, right? Right. All right, guys. See you later.